in this session let's learn about virtual columns these virtual columns just appear like your normal table columns but their values are not stored in the database they are derived during the runtime okay another important point to note is you cannot insert any data into a virtual column why because they are not stored onto the disk only the formula for that virtual column is stored on the database at run time oracle database takes that formula and calculates the values for you okay there are two ways to create a virtual column okay the first method is your column name data type and generated always as the formula and the keyword virtual okay this is a little bit lengthy another version is just column name as and formula so simple right yes most of the time i go with the second method since it is so simple okay if you want to add a column once you have created the table you can use the alter table to create the virtual column again it is add column name as and the formula okay what are the advantages of virtual columns number 1 it saves disk space why because the actual values are not stored on the disk they are just generated at run time the second one need not update if the formula changes and again since the data is not stored on the disk you are not updating anything just you update the formula and all the values will be displayed accordingly okay now let's go and have the demo okay let me create the table sales 1 okay sales date date order id number total amount number and i want the commission column which is a virtual column so let's create using the first method which is generated always as and the formula and the formula should always be in brackets okay it is total amount into 0.01 okay close it and the keyword virtual and close the bracket so let me run this sales one created now let me see what is there in the table no data so let me insert the data set into sales 1 sales date order id total amount okay i cannot mention commission since it is a virtual column right okay so values 12th january 2015 order id 1 and total amount 300 close it and then let me run this and let's commit the data and see the output you see 12 january 2015 order id 1 total amount 300 and commission is 3 how did we get 3 we didn't insert 3 right yes we didn't insert it was calculated using the formula total amount into 0. 01 which is 300 into 0.01 equal to 3 okay so now let's create the table using the other method which is very simple so for that let me drop this table drop table sales 1 so dropped and in the second method you don't have anything it is column name as and the formula that's it so simple right so let me create the table it's created let me see what is there no data so let me insert the 
data and commit and then query the table see same effect 3 is the commission like this using one of the two available methods you can create your virtual column okay so whenever next time you are creating a new table think if virtual column is best for you or not okay